What's up dudes, Kubli Khan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Permadeath Roleplay, the place where we take a build, put them out in the world, they succeed at some goal, success Hall of Heroes, if they die, well then they're cut, we start someone new. And today we are in Diamond City. So, I've been jumping around a lot more uh, than I typically would in a Permadeath because I wanted to prepare for fighting the Forged. We have so far collected four pieces of armor. Excuse me. Well, three pieces of armor. We need a fourth one for our leg, and uh, we need another one for our chest. Once And so I have a lot of money and a lot of things that we could use that should hopefully allow us to uh, get a little bit stronger so that we can deal. Because, I mean, you saw how quickly some of these people took us out. Nuka-Cola. No. Uh, oh, I do. Here you go. I think th this is just some quick, oh, real easy experience. Thank you. Rather than when you're out in the wilderness, um, they uh, apparently Starlight Inn's in trouble. Well, they they're just gonna have to struggle. Um, so here we go. Let's pull out what we have right now. So we have left arm, right arm, right leg. Actually, we have a better right leg. There we go. Right leg. So we need to do our left leg and chest. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything radar. Uh, road leathers are not or that goes underneath everything so we're not doing that there we go armoring up a little bit so that we can be prepared to take out the uh, opponents this guy sells melee this guy sells guns this guy sells whatever then we have the meat person and then we have the chems person and then we have the doctor so we got a good variety of people that we can see and talk to today uh, first I'm gonna do some cooking and then I'm gonna get back to you and uh, show you a little bit about what we picked up and what we'll be able to use. All right, so this guy has baseball grenades. I might be using that as a, a thing for us to target is because I mean, that's gonna be very helpful as we're trying to take people out. We'll be able to fight from afar. Uh, we have Raider left legs and things, but like I said, we're not gonna wear anything Raider based. I wanna, e as I'm opening up what I'm letting our character do, I'm wanting to make sure that I uh, don't go too far from what I would consider somebody like Nick to actually use. Guy. Okay, so we've put on now a full suit of leathered armor, and I feel like leather would make more sense than Raider or metal, because we're also trying to sneak here. So we've got that, that's a good start, and we can actually start tempering it too, which is something yeah. I'll do in a second. I don't okay, so this is disappointing. Nobody actually has any 50 caliber anything for us to use, but we did get to pick up this, which is the Wastelander's chest piece, which I'm exchanging for the shadowed leather chest piece. I did just buy the two, but we have so much 5mm ammo. It's really nice. This is a legendary. Gives us a little extra defense and damage. Plus, gives us that extra bit of secret in like abilities and stuff too. So we're going to take this. We're going to beef these up a little bit. Um, actually, before we do this, let's take a chance that we have a level up. So this is going to be an interesting thing because... We can't do this, we just, we don't have that option. Uh, we can do sneak, which could be really useful, or we should do gun nut. But gun nut is, might not actually give us that much extra stuff. Action boy could be nice, don't need any extra scrounger. Can't do any more uh, damage resistance. I think the best options would be armor or more sneak. More sneak because then we will, will no longer trigger enemy mines. That could be really useful. More damage could be nice, or more protection, or bigger booms. This could be another good one, because if we had a bigger boom, that could be nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Demolition Expert. The thought process here is that we're going to be taking advantage of as much explosives as we can, because when we get into a fight with somebody, we're going to be trying to, there'll be really high damage people, so we're just going to try to blow them up to the best that we can do. This is going to get crazy. This is very different than the character that we've done before. Luckily, we can also still upgrade some of this a little bit. So the only leather I could up was my two arm pieces, and, uh, we got small arms. man, I look so Long big arms. now. Um, but it only upped uh, a little bit because I don't have the first blacksmith perk. So, well, now let's do a chemistry table and see what explosives we can make. Oh, another important thing, I wanted to keep a combat shotgun. Um, we're, go we're kind of going in this mindset that the way I'm putting it and thinking about it is that we're going to be in situations where we're using rifles, period. It's true, we're using a sniper rifles as our main weaponry, but this will be very nice when we're in a situation and someone gets close. Um, 
it might be what we need to win. And since we're already breaking the rules a little bit, I'm kind of like, ah, maybe I'll keep breaking. Um, so I'm holding on to it. But that's probably going to be the most that we go. Now let's find a chemistry spot. <laughs> just for fun, I pushed this guy out of the way to use his chemistry station, and he's just now floating and walking on it. I'm happy to see that the game's physics still just doesn't give a shit. Okay, so I'm going to get some chems while we're here, too. Things that will just generally be helpful. Alright, so I think uh, we're as armored up as we can go. So let's do our actual attack on the uh, the Raiders. Um, the Forged. Here we go. Oh, great. We came in the middle of a radiation storm. Okay, so... A couple things I want to do. What time's it? 8.57 p.m.? Let's, uh, let's let it go to midnight so everybody goes to sleep. Past the radiation storm. Very good. Okay, so I'm willing to cheap my way through this. That's the thing. I'm going, opening the door, shooting at people, and running back out. Because that worked really well before, so I'm willing to keep doing that. All right. I don't see anyone. Alright, we got one person there. And unfortunately, I just realized I didn't do anything um, involving sneaking. So that's unfortunate. And we're hidden. Frag mine. Okay. 25% more damage with explosives. I made that choice for using mines and molotovs and grenades and the like. It's worse than ferals, bud. It's worse than ferals. Worse than ferals, bud. Seriously worse than ferals. We're gonna try to be as sneaky as we can here, though we're loud, which is a problem. Any Molotov cocktails are good. We can use that for anyone who's gonna be overpowered to us. So, I'm also going to avoid taking anything valuable because this is it, dudes. This is the, the final push. So I'm taking things that are useful. I was gonna say utilizing, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, util utilization, that's a, here's a pet peeve of mine. When you utilize something, that means you use it for something you don't normally use it for. It's like using a pencil as a hole puncher. It can work, you know, it's got a sharp end, you can make pencil shaped holes, but um, it's, uh, it's meant for drawing, it's not meant for stabbing. So there you go, you utilize a pencil as a hole puncher, but you use a pencil as a pencil kind of thing. That's the technical term and the right way of doing it. All right, so I feel like we've cleared out enough people here Cool, I'm gonna get rid of the, um, the, all right, here, uh, get rid of the marker, remove marker, there we go, cool. I think there's somebody upstairs, because I keep moving and the hidden, uh, like, brackets are scooting in real close. Oh man, I can't believe we're gonna go up against this forged guy. We're gonna use as many chems as we can use, we got an addictol just in case. What happened? It had a trap on it and it fired a shotgun. Jesus. Or a combat rifle. I guess I don't really need it, but ammo comes with it, from what I understand. Okay. Keep moving. How hard is this computer? It's advanced. Okay, we're not breaking through that. Um, let's see. Wonder glue. You know what? I'm going to grab an adhesive. Because um, I might be able to make more grenades. Specifically, more mines. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, good. We just leave his head in place. All right, we're in danger now, but I don't see any... Okay, one dude on the map below us. All right, just making sure nobody comes from behind. There we go. That will work perfectly for that. All right, there's no way people can come get me up here from this direction. Very disappearing. I wasn't really gone ever. 
Can I see him through here? Can't. That would be sweet, just shooting through the window. Oh, man. Come on out. Take another I'll Vault Tech lunchbox. Nice. No we should be able to make more bottle uh, cap mines. You know, there you are. Oh, it's just behind that. This side, there we go. Come on, come on. Good. Nope, stop moving. I swear I must be going crazy. Another headshot. I guess in a way I don't necessarily oh. need to be doing headshots anymore. Because uh, we've already hit the counter, at least I think we have, and it's not anymore about... Just noise. Just noise. It's not anymore about those headshots, specifically this is the hurrah, we've done it. And so... God, this is terrifying though. I don't like... Okay, so let me rephrase that. I think oh, I know whenever doing. I get really That's close, right. I get really hopeful. <laughs> you know, like, I really, really hope this ends up being a success. I honestly professional opinion playing these think that we are going to struggle when we go up against um, uh, the oh, final guys. boss I think everybody else we're gonna be sneaky we'll be able to take him out use grenades and molotovs and everything needed but the final boss is surrounded by dudes so we might be able to get in there and like run away shit we might be able to get in there and run away but we won't necessarily be able to like you know perfectly take him out so, I don't know. Got it. However, let me bring this up too. If we get to a point where things are like, we're, we're relatively close, I think I might actually play out this character even if he dies kind of thing. You know, like what I did with Grognak where I kept doing it a couple tries. I, I think that would be fun to do because I, I'm cool with that. You know, when we're so close to the goal, it's like, well, let's just see if we can complete it or if we were just not ready at all. Okay, it looks like we don't have anybody who is going to be coming from behind us. So we're going to grab and disarm this mine. Um, there we go. I really care about having everything that we can. So with the demolition perk, I was looking at things I could build, and it turns out that the bottle cap mine is the first mine that you're able to build. And um, the demolition perk, which surprised me because I was under the impression that bottle cap mines were better than fragmentation mines. Bottle cap mines are more powerful. I've had more accidental exploding myself in the faces with those than I have with the uh, fragmentation. So, nobody that way. Keep, man, this, this crowd sneak thing is just what we're gonna be doing. Just how we're gonna do it. Bag of cement. Well, why not? <laughs> this is where I came from. God damn it. <laughs> oh, the nervousness, the fears. Here we go. That would suck if I fell into one of the fires down below. I mean, an absolute hell. For That would suck. So I would totally be like, okay, you know what? We're going to keep trying. <laughs> like, uh, we might even, like, do two episodes of me continuing to try in that case. Because I would consider that one so stupid. Totally, you know, but that's how the game works. But just because we're at the last hurrah. I'm just gonna be like, okay, let's go for it. So I really don't want to fall, basically. Hmm. Everything's starting to sound like footsteps these days. So, oh well, sorry, Starlight in. That's not what I'm all about. So when I was playing, um, or I was watching a YouTube, and a guy was using, um weapons like uh, melee weapons and he was knocking the weapons out of his opponent's hand then grabbing them and throwing them off the cliff not like i mean which honestly looked really cool but in a you know actual usability thing it would have been easier just to pick them up you know and kind of thing but there was something really cool that i didn't think about that as a build you know the ability to steal your opponent's weapons in the fight so now they're unarmed like that's pretty cool it's, uh... Alright, he's over here. Oh, come on. So the forge design, I think, is one of the coolest raider areas. Isn't it? Get nice and close, bud. Dink. Another one. I like how nobody hears that. 
I, I actually like it. That's not even like a joke, like, ha uh -huh, nobody hears it. I'm like, I like that nobody hears that. Oh my god, is this a 50 cal? No, it's not. It's a pretty interesting hunting rifle, though. We'll grab it just in case it actually turns out to be something. Um, I mean, there's a weapons workbench. There's an armor's workbench. Um, did I see stim pack? Makeshift batteries, what I saw. Gotcha. I, I just want to see stim pack, okay? No judge. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear out this room. Oh, there's the final guy. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I only have this dude on my sights. Now, this is actually that computer would put us through this this room and have us be able to enter this way from this side. Kind of a background. Oh, for a moment, I thought we didn't kill him. Whew, got him. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Did a run. Nobody's popping up. Doesn't seem like it. What about this? Terminal, just use, huh? I think this is actually the... Um, yeah, this, so this tells you about those who failed the forge, and it's basically, this guy puts them through some extremely painful things. I mean, like, some of the most, why would you ever do this? And if a person screams in pain, they're killed. If a person, like, does some other weird thing, they're killed. And it's just this constant, like, oh, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Um, oh, one thing that I want to make note. So we've been wearing our armor, right, to do this? We haven't once been shot during this entire run through this forged area. Uh, I think it's simply because uh, we, you know, we got rid of that hardest person in the very beginning who had the flamer. So everyone else has been relatively similar to take out. I mean, which is awesome. I just picked up Knuckles. I habits, old habits die hard. Oh man, 38. Molotov cocktail, cage armor. More stuff. If we find a chemistry table, we'll be able to make like a bottle cap mine. If not, then no. Whew. Okay, running through. Running through. Jump. Jump. Gotcha. Well, it looks. Oh, ooh, this is gonna be useful. Oh man, I'm gonna be using all the drugs the moment we enter this. We're in danger. Oh, I know why. It's uh, they have a a turret. I'm not sure where, but I do re I hear it. There it is. There's the first time we've been shot. And uh, that's okay. That's actually a pretty small amount of damage comparatively. Like, to that flamer that was attacking us before. Pretty small damage. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I see the turret? Shoot it from here. Make sure I'm not about to step in something on fire. Holy shit, the frag mine. Okay, let's get this frag mine, and then I think that's the end of the episode. So, dudes, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, go ahead, click it down below. If you want to see more of the playlist, bottom right of the screen, more useful flat type, top right of the screen. So thank you so much for being here. It's a total joy to have you. I am excited. We are about to hit the end of Nick. It's getting close. It's going to be this episode of the next one, so... Thank you so much, dudes. I can't wait. May the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.